Hello everyone, I'm back with a new topic that is the opening of a new hotel. These are the variables of opening a new hotel department or the new housekeeping department in a new hotel. The housekeeper should collect the architectural drawings of the rooms in the property. This will to study the facilities thoroughly. This will assist the housekeeper to put up the manpower planning into perspective. The planning, organizing and priority recruiting. The housekeeper needs to use his or her time efficiently in planning, organizing and recruiting. Planning and organizing have to be done for the necessary min minimum manpower as well as the establishment of procedure determination of supply and equipments needs and reporting and coordinating relationships within the department. The housekeeper must establish the requisite qualifications for two main assistants, deputy housekeeper and laundry manager. The advertisement needs to be placed and recruitment completed within 15 to 20 days. The material resources. The housekeeper needs to plan the pr procurement of the material resources the staff will require. Market surveys must be carried out to identify the best supplies and equipments available. Keeping a note of hotel needs and cost factors, the cleaning supplies, guest supplies, linen, uniforms and various pieces of equipment need to be procured in coordination with the purchase department. The systems and procedures. The procedures and daily routines needs to be standardized for the new property. Standard operating procedures, task lists and the duties and responsibilities of specific positions should be formally in place before the new employee's induction into the property. The SOP for rep reporting to work, preparing to clean the various areas, cleaning procedures, key control and security and safety procedures must be established. The division of work. Once the recruitment has begun, the housekeeping responsibilities for the entire department needs to be identified. The executive housekeeper should include in the division of work document all the areas and sub areas that the housekeeping department is responsible for and identify the person to whom the cleaning of each area is to be allotted. The area responsibility plan. This helps to ensure that not a single area has been left out in assigning the responsibility. Then after this we need to organizing the new workforce. Once the area responsibility plan is in order, the department organization chart is to be prepared. Then we go ahead with the staffing considerations. The various documents that acts as tools in the management before recruitment should be completed. The staffing guide needs to be ready. Then we can go ahead with the orientation and training where the orientation and training is must for new employees to develop the skills needed for maintaining the standard of the hotel. A SOP is handed over to such employees. Then the scheduling of the new employees. GRAs, supervisors and housemen needs to be scheduled once the workload have been decided and the duty rota has to be drawn up. After that, the countdown, countdown begins where three months before the opening, check the blueprint of the housekeeping department. Check out the layout of the linen and uniform room. Check the layout of the laundry. Check the layout or the location of the floor pantries. Check the layout of different types of guest rooms. Check the communication system. Check the key system and the security of master key etc. Appoint a horticulturist in coordination with the personal department and initiate the selling up of setting up of plant nursery and greenhouse. Look into the purchasing of saplings and seeds. Consider the space allocation for all these areas in accordance with the total front of the house areas. Evaluate the function and maintenance of furnitures and other hard surfaces. Work in coordination with the interior designers and architect to plan the indoor spaces. Undertake a market survey to identify the best equipments, cleaning supplies, linens, and guest supplies available and work out the costs. Evaluate the quality and quantity required and then contact the suppliers of each item or 
product to get specifications, coordinate the purchase of equipment, cleaning supplies, linens and guest supplies with the purchase department, keeping in mind the lead time available for the delivery of the goods. Manpower planning needs to be initiated in coordination with the other departments as well. Discuss uniform requirements and design with the various departmental heads two months in advance. Fine tune the manpower requirement. Hire only minimum staff required. Consider contracted services to compensate for a possible high turnover of staff at the initial stage of adjustments and learnings. Consider contract services for the pest control, florist and so on so that the specifications, terms and conditions can be worked out. Consider the feasibility of these contracted services in terms of the needs versus costs. Orientation and training of the staff should be started on a continuous basis. Follow up with the purchases department regarding the indented items and delivery dates. Prepare the job descriptions six weeks in advance. Hire the necessary lower rung staff. Clean up all newly constructed areas. Establish back of the house cleaning procedures and hire to be on duty four weeks previous to openings. After the entire construction is over, initiate the actual horticulture activities such as landscaping and gardening. Organize the storage of all items purchased. Work out systems and procedures. Check the standard operating procedures and SOPs. Begin the purchasing of uniforms after getting relevant inputs regarding the staff of all departments. Plan a system of linen pickup and delivery. Plan the location of all items, for example, the wheeled equipments, etc. Plan the storage of the items such as cand caddies, card bags, bottles, etc. Organize orientation and training for the new staff and continue the training schedule for the older staff as well. Four weeks to go. Check the cleanliness of all areas under the housekeeping department's preview. Check the quality and quantity of all the equipment and supplies delivered. Set up a daily log and implement. Ensure that lower rung staffs have had basic trainings in the handling guest. Move in and set up the department physically. Redefine and fine tune the systems and procedure as necessary. Begin the stitching and issuing of staff uniforms. Two weeks. Hire and train the office personnel. Telephone etiquettes and solution of problems that may occur. One week ago. Draw up the duty rosters and schedule the staffs accordingly. Set up the relevant work areas and ensure their cleanliness work out a frequency schedule for the cleaning up of various areas of the property. Set up the VIP procedures. Issue policy on special loan items. Constantly tour the property and be available to the housekeeping staff for last minute queries and changes. Thank you.